Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, it's going to be all about the uh, Mana Spiral for Gal Ellie. Her info finally came out, so I'm going to gonna look at it, see what changed, give my thoughts and opinions about her, and you can do the same by leaving a comment. You can also like this video and if you end up liking it, and you can subscribe to me for more stuff. I'm almost at 2,000, getting real close, real happy about that. So let's get right into it. So here's Gal Ellie. Her mana spiral, as always, is through Trials of the Mighty. Um, it's going to take a very long time. If you are unaware of Trials of the Mighty, it takes a long, long, long time. I still am not even halfway done with the Prince, which is a real shame. Um, but anyway, Holy Accord increases the strength of water and tuned adventurers in the team and grants them the Holy Accord effect. Skill? Energy required. I don't know why I said skill so weird. 4,377. I was doing it all weird for some reason. Um, and then when it's a shared skill, it's 19,477. Special effects is strength 15%, last 15 seconds, and holy accord, last 15 seconds. Strength 15%, HP regen triggers every 2.9 seconds, and potency is 1.2%. So the things that they've, they've done with this skill is that the main skill in general was just 30% strength to water tuned adventures just off the bat. And. That is still very good. The problem is, is that the Curse of Nihility exists, and so that 30% became zero. So I'm going to assume with the Holy Accord, which I can only assume at this moment, um, because it is a personal or special skill, will not be affected by it, so it will get to stay. So instead of getting the full 30, you do get 15%, but also you do get a little bit of HP regen with it, um, which, is, can be, which is nice, because I really do not like the healing options in water. I know there's a ways around it for sure. Um, a lot of people have told me the specific uses of some of the um, water healers out there in the last video I did when I talked about the state of water heal the, the healers, not just water healers. So I'm actually very happy with this specific buff because at least it makes it so that when you're not in a fight with Chris and Ahility, it basically, you the main thing you get here is the HP regen effect. Um, and if you're in Curse and Ahility, then you lose 15%, but you do keep 15% attack. Again, assuming that it stays. I really, really damn hope it stays. Plus, it's shareable, which is nice. Even if the cost is the cost. Uh, Celestial Ascent deals damage to enemies directly ahead, increases the user's energy level, increases the entire team's flame resistance, grants all teammates a shield, grants the user a strength amp. After this amp is granted, this skill will not grant it again for 30 seconds. And the skill gauge will be filled by attacking enemies, but it will also gradually fill automatically you during Divine Revelation. When the user is not under the effects of Divine Revelation, attacking enemies will still fill the gauge, but it will decrease automatically over time unless the gauge is already completely filled. Okay, so first things first. Um, strength Vamp is obvious because it's the same thing the Prince got. The Strength Vamp is 100% immune to the Curse of Nihility. Uh, which basically wipes all buffs except for very specific ones that are special to the unit, I believe is what they call it. Um, so, Strength Amp is basically immune from it. The thing that, it's funny that the Prince did not get this effect where every 30 seconds, the reason that she has it is because water has access to the bunnies, and the GNC bunnies are notorious for breaking the game um, for a lot of reasons. The GNC bunnies... Um, I guess Grace, Karina, and some other units you can consider as game breaking. This is them going, we understand that water can easily get this ability in way faster time than 30 seconds, so we're just not going to give you the strength ramp again. So please, <laughs> we created the bunny, we're not nerfing the bunny, but unfortunately that does mean we do have to keep water in check in some cases. So I think that's fair play. Um, the thing that again sucks about Curse and Ahility is that basically this entire, everything up until strength ramp is removed. Um, but now this ability actually does something along with dealing attack. The damage has been increased just a little bit. Um, I think it's like a small amount, but it's enough to go amount around a little bit more. The shield that she does give, it was 20% of max HP previously, it is now 30%. Flame resistance was 20% and it is now 30%. And energy level 3, I think, has been changed in some cases. So I'm going to assume it was 2 and now it's 3 or something like that. And charge 1 is from the strength amp. And of course, the team amp is max level 3, so. Co-op ability is defense 15%, chain co-op ability is water combo time 6. Um, these two have not changed at all. Here's what did get changed though, Divine Oath 2, 3. 
Elisane gains the uh, Divine Revelation effect for 13 seconds. If any of the following occur, her Force Strike connects. The use it, she uses a skill. She executes a 10-hit combo. This effect cannot stack, and when it is active, Ellie gains the uh, ability immune to knockbacks, and she gets 20% defense. Previously, the 20% defense was not a thing that she got, so that means, hopefully, um, the curse can't remove Divine Revelation. So that means that Ellie now is way more tankier, which is good, because my actual one thing that I always had a problem with Gala Ellie is that because of the immune to knockback, the AI constantly got herself killed when it was Ellie. And I had to compensate by giving her either Grace on the team or some better defensive buffs. But 20% defense is pretty good from this, as that's what I would consider pretty decent, so glad to have that. And he and it's a buff to it, so I'm I'll consider that good. Um, Heaven Shield 3, she's susceptible to burning and stun by 100%, and if she gets hit by either of them, she gets 15% attack for 10 seconds, which is good. Uh, decrease will not stack, and after activating, the buff cannot activate again for the same affliction and for 15 seconds. So, so basically, by the time you can activate one, if you have these on two constant cooldowns, then you know that you can get the strength map back from this move right here. And then we have Prime Strength 15%. Increases the strength of the adventure you are currently controlling for priority 15% for 10 seconds every time the initial skill displayed, the top of their skill becomes available for use. Previously, I want to say it was 10%, so it's a 5% increase. And that is the Gala Ellie Spiral. So, what do I think about her? I think it's a pretty good job. They did more to her than they did the Prince. Uh, mainly because the Prince was already a pretty damn good unit, so they only made a pretty damn good unit more usable in a mode with Curse and Nihility in it. <laughs> That's really all they seem to have done. I, I don't know in terms of power testing because I have not been able to get his Mana Spiral more than 50% done based on the rate of how much freaking uh, stuff they give out for that freaking event for the Trials of the Mighty Thor, <laughs> so it'll take me a while to get to that point, but... I digress. Um, so I think I actually like the changes that she's done. I think she's pretty damn solid. Again, we will have to see if Curse and Ability basically removes Holy Accord. If you know for a fact that she does not lose Divine Revelation, I would assume no because it's a specific person skill. Um, so it does it, it gets immunity to Curse and Ability. Um, let me know on that one, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. I kind of wish that Dragalia started like including with the skill so i like that this is this was a recent addition i would like to know what what specific things that they've done to a unit is going to be immune to nihility going forward it would save me a whole lot of like time and effort of going i don't know i think it does that seems like it does it seems similar to other moves like strength amp where it gets it uh, has a specific name so it's immune to it or something um, that'd be very nice for them to have to add as an addition. But I think she's actually pretty solid. I think she would be a pretty good addition for water. She doesn't seem to be absolutely game-breaking, which is good. The less Karina's in the game, the better. The whole reason that we've run into a problem with Nihility is that they made Karina too good. And they can either... There's, no good, <laughs> there's really no good options with Nihility, unfortunately. It's either nerf the character which is always a negative in the eyes of the player. You cannot, nerf a, you cannot nerf a character without suffering huge drawbacks. The only time they've done it in Dragalia was with Vice, and that was after they buffed every single character in the game. So it be, And they also reimbursed some materials for that, so they kind of went like, hey, here's some stuff. Sorry. This, this is the way it had to be. We couldn't think of any other way. Um, if they were to do the same thing again, it would be kind of nice if it meant that Curse and Nihility was maybe a little bit toned down, and maybe if they toned down the units, they toned down Curse and Nihility. That'd be kind of nice. Um, as it is right now, I actually don't have a problem with it. Uh, going through Thor, it was pretty easy. I have a problem with it in Lilith, but that's because Lilith is made to be an extremely hard fight. But in Galathor, it's actually not too tough. I had problems with it in the beginning, but now I'm kind of adjusted to it. Um, but that's how I feel anyway. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. Once again, you can leave your thoughts down below. I'll gladly read them. Uh, subscribe to me if you want some more stuff. Videos in general, I'm almost at 2,000. Good stuff. And that's it. I think leave a like. Is Did I say that? No? Okay. That's the end of today's adventure, everyone. <laughs> Till next time, you guys have a good day. Peace out.